Hi, today we are going to see this packet tracer activity and a network representation. Coming to step 1, identify common components of a network as represented in packet tracer. Coming to A, the icon toolbar at the bottom left hand corner has various categories of networking components. You should see categories that correspond to intermediary devices, end devices and media. Coming to our packet tracer, here we can see our toolbar and uh, here we can see intermediary devices, end devices and uh, connections. The connections category with the lightning bolt icon represents the networking media supported by the packet tracer. Yes, here we have seen that. Connections. There is also an entity devices category and two categories specific to packet tracer, custom-made devices and multi-user connections. So in this toolbar, we can see all the specified components. Network devices, this is entity devices, connections and here we can see multi-user connections. Coming to B, list the intermediary device categories. Coming to our packet tracer, here we can see network devices, intermediary devices, such as routers, switches, hubs, wireless devices, security, and here we can see WAN emulation. Coming to C, without entering into the internet cloud or intranet cloud, how many icons in the topology represent endpoint devices? Only one connection leading to them. Okay, right, we will count the number of entity devices in this topology and we won't go to these uh, clouds uh, such as internet and intranet. Coming to our home office network, uh, here we can see the entity devices, inkjet, home desktop, home laptop and tablet. Here we have total four entity devices. And uh, coming to central network, here we can see central server, PC1, PC2, PC3 and PC4. So here we have total uh, 5 entity devices. And coming to this network, that is a branch network. And here we can see branch server, laser, smartphone, GUS, accounting and sales. Here we have total uh, 6 entity devices. So total we have 4 plus 5 plus 6 that is uh, 15 entity devices in this topology. Now we will come to D. Uh, without counting the two clouds, how many icons in the topology represent intermediary devices? Multiple connections uh, leading to them. Okay, we will count the uh, intermediary devices in this uh, topology. First of all, coming to the network home office and here we can see uh, two intermediary devices such as modem and WRS. Coming to the next network that is central. Here we can see uh, intermediary devices uh, such as S3, R2, D1, D2, S1 and S2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and coming to the third network here that is branch and here we can see the intermediary devices such as R4, S4 and wireless AP that means it's 3 hence we will get total 11 intermediary devices in this topology okay now we will go to E how many end devices are not desktop computers? What we will do, we will count the number of a desktop in this topology. Here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means we have total 15 end devices in this topology. So 15 minus 7, we will get 8. 8 entity devices are not desktop computers in this topology. Coming to F, how many different types of media connections are used in this network topology? 
we will verify in our topology here we can see different uh, media we used uh, in this uh, topology we used wireless and here we used uh, copper straight through and here we can see we used coaxial and uh, here we used uh, serial connection so total we have one two three and four so in this topology we used uh, five different types of media connections okay right now we will come to step two explain the purpose of the devices coming to a in packet tracer only the server hyphen pt device can act as a server desktop or laptop pcs cannot act as a server based on your study so far explain the client server model here is that client server model the device requesting the information is called a client a client is a hardware or software combination that people use directly the device responding to the request is called a server resources are stored on the server the client begins the exchange by requesting data from the server which responds by sending one or more streams of data to the client coming to b list at least two functions of intermediary devices so we will see all the functions of intermediary devices here we can see all the functions of intermediary devices regenerate and retransmit data signals maintain information about what pathways exist through the network and internetwork notify other devices of errors and communication failures direct data along alternate pathways when there is a link failure classify and direct messages according to the priorities permit or deny the flow of data based on security settings coming to see list at least two criteria for choosing a network media type okay we will see all the criteria for choosing a network media type here we can see the criteria the maximum distance that the media can successfully carry a signal the type of environment will the media be installed the amount of data and the speed at which it must be transmitted and the cost of the media and installation okay that's all in this step 2 now we will come to step 3 compare and contrast lands and wands coming to a explain the difference between a lan and a van give examples of each okay we will uh, brief about this local area network and a wide area network here we can see local area networks it's a network infrastructure that spans a small geographical area we will see specific features of lans lans interconnect entity devices in a limited area a LAN is usually administered by a single organization or individual. LANs provide high-speed bandwidth to internal entity devices and intermediary devices. And now we will come to uh, wide area networks. WANs are a network infrastructure that spans a wide geographical area. WANs are typically managed by service providers or internet service providers. Now we will see the specific features of WANs such as WANs interconnect lands over wide geographical areas such as between cities, states, provinces, countries or continents. WANs are usually administered by multiple service providers. WANs typically provide slower speed links between lands. Coming to B, in the packet tracer network, how many WANs do you see? Okay, coming to our packet tracer, here we can see uh, two WANs such as internet and intranet. Coming to see, how many LANs do you see? Okay, here we can see uh, those LANs uh, such as home office. Then here we can see central and here we can see branch. So, total we have uh, three LANs. Coming to D. The internet in this packet tracer network is overly simplified and does not represent the structure and the form of the real internet. Briefly describe the internet. 
Internet is a network of networks, or we can say it is a worldwide collection of interconnected networks. What else to say about Internet? Okay, uh, now we will come to e. What are some of the common ways a home user connects to the Internet? Here we can see some common ways a home user connects to the Internet, such as cable, DSL, dial-up, cellular, and satellite. And coming to the last question in this uh, step 3, uh, what are some common methods that businesses use to connect to the internet in your area? Here we can see some common businesses method to connect to the internet such as dedicated lease lines, metro E, DSL, cable or satellite. Now here they are given a challenge. Uh, we are not going to uh, uh, do this challenge because uh, the same challenge they are given in the previous packet tracer activity. Uh, you can refer that. Okay, so in this packet tracer activity, we have seen network representation. Friends, if any doubt, please comment below. And if you like the video, don't forget to give a thumb. And we have many number of technical videos in future. So stay tuned, consider subscribing. And we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.